Okay, so I seem to have found a compromise. Um, an EPEVA 20 amp solar controller probably would be better if I used a 10 amp one. Um, but having the solar input connected up to the panel, um, no battery. Normally with an MPPT controller you need to set the battery on first, but just having the battery just not there um, and putting a load onto it first so the load is there sucking power when it boots up um, seems to get it just to default into sort of 12 volt mode and it does the MPPT so rather than just sending the solar directly into the fridge and having its PWM controller connect it straight up to the battery um, meaning the panel's only sending down 11 volts, whatever the lithium battery's sitting at, and about 2 amps, or whatever the amperage is coming in from the panel. Um, it's now able to send in the full sort of um, 29 volts at 2.8 amps, uh, which means it's putting out 12.5 volts, and the load sitting on 6.4 so it's able to take those extra volts um, that the PWM controller in the fridge would lose and it's converting those into extra amps um, and seems to be running fine to the point where the battery inside the unit uh, is almost charged it's up to 75 percent uh, and it's running the compressor quite happily and cooling down. Um, so we'll see how that goes.